Hi guys, Meredith from Dare You Two here, um, and I'm opening for the very first time my Spiral Vegetable Slicer. Um, really excited. The box is right here. Um, it's a turning slicer. It's plastic. It's from Paderno. Um, other uh, recipe bloggers have been raving about this, so I am super excited. Um, so the point is that sort of like um, I typically use spaghetti squash as a substitute for some sort of pasta of sorts. Um, this takes other vegetables like squash and instead of using a julienne peeler um, to turn it very laboriously into noodles, this very cleanly, crisply will crank um, squash into spaghetti. Awesome. Before we start, I'm going to give it a quick rinse. Alright, so step one is actually these little sections that you press down um, to keep it in place. It says press down gently in the four corners. Yep, feels secure. You can wiggle it a little bit. It's not moving. Stored underneath are actually these blades and you can change them up depending on what kinds of uh, spiral slices you want to make and they store here when you're not using them. Perfectly easy. You can change them up. There are three different ones. So for spaghetti-like cuts, we're going to use the nice small um, graters there. You can also make a thicker noodle or even sort of like spiral slices. So we'll see how that how that comes out on another time. I'm going to start with this nice yellow squash. I bought this and a green one that we'll use after um, that I got at the farmer's market just for this. It was a very special occasion. It'll produce more noodles because of the wider circumference. Um, so you stick one end sort of where the, try turning it, where the little circle is on the blade. That'll be taking out the seeds. And then the other gets secured with these prongs on the other end. And then you turn. Is anything happening? <gasps> That's spaghetti. Look at that. Um, I do see the skin coming on. I didn't even think of that. I usually cook my zucchini and squash and such with the skin. I don't mind it. Um, if you don't want it in your spaghetti, you can always peel it beforehand. So these are really long strands of spaghetti, actually. Look at that. It's not like when you use a julienne pillar, which gives little tiny shreds, but you can put these all in this bowl here. It's real long, <laughs> swirling spaghetti. You can see this part here is um, the seeds in the center, so they don't even get into your spaghetti, which is excellent. That was always a problem that I had when I used a julienne peeler. And there we go. Guess that's it. All that's left is this little piece here and we can actually pull it right back through. All the seeds are here extracted. We've got a heaping plate of spaghetti here. Look at that. You can see this full plate of spaghetti noodles. Um, grain free of course. So if you are grain free or gluten free or paleo, primal, whatever it is, or you just want a fun alternative to regular pasta, um, here you go. Just get yourself a uh, spiral vegetable slicer from Paderno and you'll be well on your way. That was my very first time. You see how easy it is and the spaghetti came out perfectly. Um, I, I'm going to figure out how I want to dress this up. Just like you would do with normal spaghetti, anything will work. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think or if you have one and what you like to do. Thanks.